the Global Food Quest in the kitchen with the lovely Laura Aikman. Hi. Nice to see you, Laura. I'm just like pushing my oven. I love your kitchen, by the way. <laughs> Thank it's amazing. you. Um, Laura is our first ever actor and our first vegan, and this will be our first vegan dish we have on the show, so thank you. Yeah, I'm into it. We need that. We've been cooking far too much meat. Yes, well, it's good for the environment and obviously for the animals. And for us. <laughs> and for us, yes, for us. So they say, well. since my ex was vegan, but since going back to the meat diet, <laughs> something happened. What? I, um, Coming back I don't to know the... what you mean. Yeah, yeah, good. I look the same <laughs> as always. Yeah. Um, what, what are we cooking? So we're going to do a um, peanut and lentil curry and a tofu paneer. No, that's wrong. And a sarg tofu. A sarg tofu. So the tofu is taking the place of the paneer, basically. Amazing. Sarg being the addition of spinach, I think. Indeed. Correct, isn't it? Yeah. Correct. And it's a smoked tofu? Yes, yes. The, the smoked tofu is the only tofu I can get my husband to stomach. It's firmer. It's got more of a flavour of profile, whereas I think regular tofu can be just a little bit wishy. I mean, I'll eat any of it. I like it all. But oh, I love tofu. Yeah, yeah but no, no. When it's smoked, it gives you the, yeah. like, the layers, doesn't and it? And then the, the, I'm smuggling a lot of spinach in there. My main aim when cooking is to feed people vegetables. I'm obsessed with vegetables. The more vegetables I can get in there, the better. It's like a challenge for me. Really? That's it? awesome. Right, should we start? Yeah, swap over to you. Okay. Go. Oh, I'm going to pop us some wine. Do you want a wine? Yeah, okay. well, I'll have a small amount. I'm slightly hungover, if I'm being completely honest with you. We're deeply hungover. Oh, good. Again. So that's how we roll. In real life, when it's not Corona times, I uh, cook every Friday night. Oh, it's been such a long time. At a uh, shelter. What's the name of the shelter? It's called Shelter from the Storm. It's in London, uh, and it's a it houses uh, forty people, and um, it's like a it's not a, like a nightly shelter. You get referred there by various bodies, and it gives people at least twenty eight days. Uh, but some people can stay a lot longer than that while they get back on their feet. Um, it's a really amazing thing, and uh, it's not government funded, so it's sort of. Char charity, privately run. Well, let's do a fucking shout out to them. Yeah, well, it's Shelter really, from the storm. Shelter from the storm, yeah. Smelling this garlic is making me think of when you cook enough garlic for 40 people, my God, you've got about three days stink on you. Oh, it's tomato, it's terrible. Do you want to start just uh, chopping all that and that? Yeah, no worries. I'm going to start toasting some spices. Um, Thanks. Cheers. Shardy, shardy party. Essex shardy. Cheers. Oh, everyone at home, like to see Laura's food. Like, subscribe if you haven't. We're cooking vegan food. Yeah. Chin chin. Drinking Essex chardonnay. C'est bon. I like it. British shardy. Essex shardy. Wallop. Yeah, so you're toasting off the spices now. Yeah, so this is for the lentil dish. Uh, and I've got curry powder, turmeric, coriander and cumin in there and then we're gonna put in some garlic and ginger. Nice. Um, and yeah, the other dish is super, super quick, so we'll get this one going and then we can start messing around with that. Nice. Just, just doing some chatting. So I'm, do I'm gonna go with a, um, with your, with your sort of sharp knife. Yeah, <laughs> I know, it needs work. No, it's quite good. I'm gonna do just a little, I'm just roughly chopping the ginger, yeah? That's what people are gonna love. Finally, actually. finally roughly. I'm very relatable. You're very relatable. You know, I don't have a sharp knife. You're very, no. Things are mostly clean. Nor does my mum. Stuff's very clean. There you go. Klaus got a sharp knife. There you go. Thank you, Klaus. Where did you get that? <laughs> well, when we were Oz, we were living in Oz at the time, and it was veganism was just heavily trending in Oz at that point in time. And, uh, or just beginning to. And one of the pizzerias actually near me that used to, uh, it was an award winning pizzeria, the head chef became vegan and turned his whole pizzeria vegan. Oh, and it, tricky stuff. Mate, no, it's amazing pizza. Forget the name, in Newtown in Sydney. But yeah, he's still killing it. Anyone know that pizzeria in Newtown, Sydney that I'm talking about? L let me know in the comments. I've forgotten. It's amazing. And do they try and mess with fake cheese or are you just like leaving the cheese out? Don't, not <laughs> he about. was doing something with blue, a blue, vegan blue cheese that was really working. Right, it's he, hard to find a good vegan cheese. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. I there's some people. No in one comment by your life, please. It's fine, but we all know. That was something when I left when I was there, I was thinking two really exciting areas of food were who's gonna who's gonna work out vegan cheese? Yeah. Because it can happen. Yeah. And I think it, it, it is happening. There, it is happening. It there is there happening. are a couple of places. There's actually a couple of like places, I think in Bristol where they do like a vegan cheese board. They're really going for it, you know. 
Yeah, but it was like a whole, you know, we've got all the um, all the milks and all the cultures. I think it's only a matter of time before yeah. someone worked out a way you to can make a decent make a mac and cheese, cheese with, a, with cashews and stuff. Can you? Yeah, and oh, enough that. mustard and garlic. Yeah, you can make a, a decent, and Ooh. yeast. So okay. like soaked cashews, blend it with garlic, miso paste, yeast flakes, and some mustard. Right. Uh, and a bit of like nut milk or whatever. And then... Which nut milk is your favoured? Oh, whatever. I mean, actually, I'm all about the oat. Oat. Mm, I love a bit of oat milk. It's richer. Oatly. Oatly's good. Oatly's... Do you use Oatly Barista for your coffee? Of course. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so Oatly is your fa favoured vegan milk of choice? For sure. I would have to agree with you that when forced into vegan milk, um, I go with Oatly 100%. Yeah. Talking of the vegan experience, there was there's a chap called Peter Singer. Do you know who he is? No. Anyway, I went to watch a talk with him. Right. And at that talk, they had one of the first um, vegan chocolate companies Ooh. that had come out nailed vegan chocolate. Was and it really good? Man, none of it, yeah, because at that point in time, no one in the audience had had good vegan chocolate and it was this thing they were crying yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they were giving out samples and everyone, there was like a standing evasion for them at the end. Oh, wow. I know, after they were sampling, everyone was like, ah! Vegan chocolate's great. Vegan chocolate. So this is, uh, I'm chopping here, it's taken uh, an hour. Yeah, you really Not are. It's looking it terrible. Time. I only need half of it for this one, so give me half. So usually I would put that in before I put the lentils in, but I was panicked about the um, curries, spices burning. So um, it's going a bit later because I hate burnt garlic, that's like a big. A big no-no. Oh, I hate it. I was gonna say they use it quite a lot in Thai food, but they don't burn the garlic. Yeah. It's toasted garlic. Yeah. Well, I did a film in Thailand years ago, and we, I did a cookery course there with some of the actors on our like, day off. Awesome. And the only thing the cookery teacher could say was chop, chop, bang, bang. So the whole time we were just like, what's she chopping now? I'm banging now. <laughs> 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 just like, trying to do it. Chop, chop, bang, bang. Chop, chop, bang, bang. Well, because there was a lot of banging and a lot of chopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Banging lemongrass and then yeah. chopping lemongrass. Yeah, you're right. You know? It's called pop, pop for the sound it makes in um, the, the uh, Thai pestle and mortar. Oh, chop, chop, bang, bang. I was going to do the, the pop, pop. What are you doing there, dude? I mean, it's the action I don't want to do, but you know, yeah. Yeah, banging, <laughs> banging a pestle and mortar. All I remember is the girls in the massage parlors saying, uh, oh dear, massage know. boom boom. Does that mean sex? Pardon? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think so, not sure, a bit scared to ask. Don't know. Yeah. I never tried. Oh gosh, <laughs> this is a road we should not go down. Um, when you become vegan, when did I? Yeah, how so, long have you been vegan? Yeah, so I grew up, um, yeah, vegetarian light, um, and... <laughs> What's vegetarian light? <laughs> we ate chicken. What? We ate chicken. Is... I don't know why my parents had no respect for the chicken as an animal. Vegetarian light? And everything else they were like, couldn't possibly. No other animals. And now I kind of think... Chickens are stupid, though. Right? Yeah, but it, I still think it's like one of the worst things to eat. That oh, is like 100%. the thing that... That you feel like, oh geez, they've really got a raw deal, those chickens. Yeah, they've been a deeply abused animals. Yeah. So yeah, about five years ago, we watched these documentaries and then we were like, why not just try it for a month and see what it's like, see how big the sacrifice actually is. And at home, we found it pretty easy, actually. We really? got some cool cookbooks and yeah, it was a really easy adjustment. It, it's harder out and about, just like, I mean, I'm not like a monster about it. If I go to my nan's and she makes me a cup of tea, I'm not going to be like, excuse me, where's the oat milk? Right. To my 91 year old grandma. Understood. I will drink the dairy. Are you? Okay. But, um, but yeah, we're just trying, trying to do the thing. I think it's amazing. It's cool. Like I said, like I did, I, I, I get, I mean, I get it. I think it's, yeah. it is the future, to be honest. But, yeah. um, it's that adjustment when you're an ad, like, a, for yeah. myself, being a rampant carnivore, oh, I, is... I found it, I found it, like, challenging. Yeah. Why is it such a big choice? People are like, oh, how come you don't eat animals? How come you don't do that? How come you're vegan? But it's not a choice to be like, well, why do you? That's an unconscious thing because we all grow up doing it, right? 100%. But I feel like, I feel like if you eat meat, I really love it when people eat nose to tail, they do the whole thing. Because I just feel like- I've always said, if you can't kill an animal, yeah. and then and if you don't eat want to it, talk you, about what it shouldn't is. Be, you shouldn't eat yeah. meat. 
I think you should have to go it. through the process and you understand you God. killed something. Well, then that would definitely be me out for running years before. I couldn't have done it. Yeah, but I mean, sure, exactly. But it sort of it gives you that deeper appreciation. Yeah, I think that at least be honest about what it is. I mean, I hear you. Our little pig. <laughs> See, we wouldn't eat him right now. Yeah, and that's weird, isn't What's it? What's his it's name? Just like Eric Cantona. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's French. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Eric Bulldog, yeah. We wouldn't eat Eric, right? But now. yeah, but isn't that weird as well that we've just like chosen certain animals yeah. that we're like, oh, well, you're a monster if you eat a dog. I'd eat him if he wasn't sick. Yeah, I mean, but I know he's sick, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let him get better. He's done a sick. Oh, he's really cute. Eric Cantona. Paris. Yeah, and it was a surprise for Matt, so Matt got to name him, and that was Eric Cantona was the uh, choice. Shout out to Matt. Shout out to Matt. Matt. Matt, I love your kitchen. Thanks, oh, thanks for I did it myself. Well, I was a labourer for my mate Sai who did it, who knows what he's doing. It's the bricks are pretty sick as well. Apparently. Yeah, I mean, it's all pretend, yeah. It's a, it's a facade. <laughs> there, is, there, is, there are literally proper bricks behind it, but uh, it, it's, a, it's better with damp and all that to put those up. Yeah, there's a lot of things along the way that we're like, oh, I don't know if that Like, really, we shouldn't have honey. Oh man, this is an interesting one. Yeah. So anything with a central nervous system yeah. can be proven to feel pain, therefore yeah, sensitive suffer. Sensitive, yeah. So you cut out everything with a central nervous system, the system. But the, so bees. Yeah, you're not eating I, the actual bee, are you? No. Is this? Uh, is this? Do some vegans not eat bees because some bees get killed and crushed? I think it's because it's a byproduct of an animal. Is that it? But, yeah. but so that Is it like slave labour? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what are the bees? What are the bees working hours? Is it zero hours? <laughs> is that what it is? You're looking at it's bee welfare. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, I'm not eating the bee. the bee. Does the bee want to produce that honey for you? I, I don't know. I, I don't I'm not eating. We're just robbing its honey. I mean, yeah, basically, yeah. It's, it's essence that it produces. Oh, oh, I see. It's up to the bee, it should work out how to defend its shit. Yeah, yeah. No one's coming here stealing your stuff right now. The bees are pretty good at defending their shit when they want it, aren't they? That's I mean, it. I won't fancy putting my hand into a, into a hive to rip out a bit of honeycomb. No. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think some bees get killed in the process, maybe. That's part of it. Maybe that's part of it. Because there's, yeah, yeah. like, they would, wouldn't they, if you were, like, just fist meat hooks in. Pull it out and, yeah, breaking stuff off, I don't know, yeah. Right, so we are, so the tofu is in. Yeah, tofu's in. There's like, I mean, I could have kept going. If this was just me and Matt eating, I would have fully put in like 400 grams of spinach. Five bags of spinach you'll put in. No, you put in what you, you put in what you put in. No, I hear what you're saying. But because you try and make it super healthy, yeah, okay. but you're now trying to finesse the dish for well, Global Food Quest. Ish, yeah. So you're like, that's enough spinach. Yeah, I mean, I feel confident you're going to say it's nice even if it isn't. Um, I we bag shit out when okay. we need to. All right. We just don't post it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's should we talk a little bit about process now we're on the feet. Yeah. Remind us what's happened here. So we toasted our spices, which were cumin, coriander, curry powder, and turmeric. Nice. Then added in the ginger and the garlic. Then sort of uh, like added oils, made that into like a curry paste. Put in our lentils, about a cup of lentils, maybe two. Don't really know. Um, and then enough lentils. Some le enough lentils that enough. you want to, the amount you would want to eat. Yep. Put that amount in, and then uh, tin of chopped tomatoes. And when that's sort of cooked down and the lentils look like they're nearly done, then add that coconut milk. Oh, beautiful! That's what you're putting at the end there. Yeah, and then two tablespoons of the peanut butter. So it's so, amazing. So this is looking super creamy and delicious. Yeah. And you know what? I love the fact you've done the coconut milking. So what I would be doing as well if I was doing kind of a lentil thing, I probably would have banged away gear in there if I was doing a dance. So yeah, that's not vegan. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. So you don't need to. Yeah. Do use coconut milk to gloss so it So then, up. again, this is like why it's obviously not an uh, Indian dish. It's just Indian derived. Because I like good salmon tapping You like chili, right? Lo yeah, I would love it. There's green chili, red chili, some coriander, some more peanuts. Gorgeous. Looks Chocolate. beautiful. And then yeah, I think we're good. We can eat some food. Yes, chef. Honor. It's an honour. <laughs> it's an honour. It's nice to say. It's shocking. 
So like a little... It's a sloppy guy. Amazing. Yeah, your mum told me yeah, that actually. you were doing... Um, you were bait. She told me years ago you were bait. That was what I was going to ask. You were yeah. asking our master chef. Yes. Celebrity master chef. Yes. No, they did not source me as such a brilliant cook that they tried to get me to go on the real one. What um, <laughs> I was doing casualty at the time, which I was in for a year, and I couldn't get the time off to go do it. So you would have done it. You'd like to have. At the time, maybe I would have, but I wouldn't now. I'd be too scared now. Would you? Yeah, for sure. It's. I think it's quite brutal. They like really. Yeah. And I'm a fan of the patience. show, so you know, like you don't want to be the guy. But the, some of the celebrities are so shit in the first. It depends who you get put with, because sometimes they're literally making like beans on toast. Yeah. And then other times it's like incredible. So yeah, I just think I could really, I could really embarrass myself. And the uh, and so the other thing was I. I know. I mean, this must be getting boring for you now, but yeah. it was Christmas Day. Oh yeah. And I didn't even watch the show, but we were yeah. watching Gavin and Stacey. There you were. Yeah, it turned out to be quite the big deal. <laughs> no, it was massive. Yeah, it was like the most People... watched program in the last 17 years or something. Was it? Was, yeah, outside of school, I think. So how was that? Did you have to like... Yeah, there was no, utter it, secrecy, it was secrecy around it. Yeah, and even so when I went for the audition, it was like, there's a BBC One project. We can't tell you what it is but can you go sometime on Wednesday for a meeting, no time disclosed. And then the day before they sent me the sides, but with all the names changed. But you know, like, I, I could tell it was Gavin and Stacey from the dialogue, like could the way Nessie yeah. speaks and stuff, you know, you can, you could tell. And I knew I was meeting James Corden in the audition, so put two and two together. Right, fine. Yeah, but we shot it in the summer, so then, yeah, for six months I didn't tell anyone. Even my, well, my parents didn't actually really ask, but they knew I was doing it, but they, I didn't tell them what car I was playing or anything. Was it fun? It was amazing, it was so much fun, it was such a laugh. Any Gavin and Stacey fans got a question for Laura, type it in the comments. You're going to answer them all, aren't you, personally? <laughs> 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 you promised. You <laughs> literally turned up house and answer Yeah. I'm very free. <laughs> Bloody crazy. Congratulations, that was wicked. Thank you. We were like totally arsehole on Christmas Day <laughs> at 7 pm. Doing like we started doing whiskey sours and they oh. just they just sort of turned into yeah. like whiskey with a bit of sugar and egg. You're never sober after even one whiskey sour, really. Are you? I mean, I remember sort of watching it as well at uh, at uh, Becky's parents and sort of like sort of, I was on the floor, but then you came on. <laughs> you woke up and um... <laughs> it happened. Right. Okay, I think it's okay. Let's see what you think. Fucking delicious. Yum! Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Laura, thank you so much. No worries. Good to see you. And your food's really fucking delicious. Thanks. See you next week. Ciao. Wanna... One more? No. So no, look, look the, but I wanted to get for this, for your for your spicy dish, I wanted yeah. to get us an off dry wine. I was looking for a Gewurz or a Riesling. This is an off dry Riesling that just <laughs> so happened to go branding wise with, can you? Uh, so, sorry if you can see my vagina. <laughs>